Steve Bannon is the most recent best assistant of President Donald Trump to leave his post following a survey of his position by the new White House Chief of Staff, John Kelly. Press Secretary Sarah Huckabee Sanders affirmed that Friday was the White House boss strategist's last day. The terminating came as sources asserted that Trump was enraged over Bannon's propensity for assuming praise for his 2016 race. That F. Bannon, is, assuming praise for my race, Trump as of late told a friend, as indicated by U.S. reports. Bannon apparently asserted that he cleared out voluntarily and that he presented his acquiescence two weeks prior, yet a few journalists are hearing that he was in actuality terminated. The BBC reports. Mr. Bannon, a conservative patriot and previous head of Breitbart.com, helped shape the America First message of Mr. Trump's decision crusade. Be that as it may. Pundits had blamed the 63-year-old for harboring against Semitic and racial oppressor seas. Mr. Bannon is known to have vied for impact in the West Wing against more direct groups, including individuals from the Trump family. Mr. Trump cocked eyebrows not long ago when he hoisted Mr. Bannon to the National Security Council, the fundamental gathering exhorting the president on national security and outside undertakings. However, Mr. Bannon was thusly expelled from the gathering in a move that was viewed as an indication of National Security Advisor A. Char McMaster's developing impact over the president. The two men have since been secured in the background control battle, as indicated by U.S. media reports. Bannon experienced harsh criticism as of late for a meeting in which he seemed to negate the president on a few fronts, including Mr. Trump's current dangers to North Korea promising fire and rage. In the meeting Bannon said that there wasn't really a military choice for pushing back on North Korea, 